Okay, this is Algebra 1, section 4.47, and it's on page 267. We're going to talk about inverses. Inverses. Okay. Well, we need to explain an inverse relation. Uh, it's, uh, if, if I have an inverse of a relation, um, it's the set of ordered pairs by exchanging the x and y values. So the domain of one becomes the range of the other. Okay? You just switch the x's and the y's. Okay, so I'm going to give you a set and show you kind of what happens is, let's say that I had a set of ordered pairs. Um, I have um, a negative 3, a negative 16, negative 1, I'm just using the ones in the book, negative 1, 4. 2, 14, and 5, 32. Okay, this is the original relation. Okay, so it's negative 3 and negative 16, negative 1, 4, um, 2, 14, 5, 32. Okay, we'll call this f of x. All right? Okay, so we'll call this the inverse is. We put a little mark up here, and you can see I just put it there. That's not a mistake. It's a little mark up there. It's the inverse. This means inverse. That means inverse when I put that mark up there. What happens is, oh, this was a set. I'm sorry. This has to have uh, squigglies around it. Okay, so my new set then, watch this. I do a squiggly. It's a negative 16 and a negative 3. What happened to the x and the y? They exchanged, right? Then I go to the next one, and it is what? For a negative 1, correct? And the next one is 14, 2. And the next one is 32, 5. And that is the inverse of the original, okay? You understand that? Okay, so I'm going to give you a chart, an XY chart. Okay, mine goes across here, negative 4 and negative 13. Okay, negative 1 and negative 8.5. 5, 0.5. And 9, 6.5. That's a 9. What I want you to do is I want you to write the inverse as a set of ordered pairs. So I want to know what the inverse of this. We'll call it F inverse. So squiggly. Okay. What would be my first ordered pair if I'm finding the inverse? Jackson? Negative 13. Negative 13. Negative 4. The next one, Tyra? Negative 8.5, negative 1. Negative 8.5 and negative 1. Caden? Uh, 0.5, 5. Okay, and the last one, um, Chuck? 6.5, All right. Very good. So that was, that's fairly easy, isn't it? Correct? All right. Any questions about that? Okay, so the next thing is I want I want to show you visually um, how that works. Okay, a, a graph, and here's you can put this on a graph or you can just watch. Um, but I want to show you. I'm going to create a line. Okay, and I'm going to use two points on the line just to show you. Okay, so I'm going to choose this point right here. Um, 
And what is the, the values of that? Uh, what is the coordinates of that point? Negative 3, 2. Negative 3, 2. It's very important that you know the coordinates. Um, what about this one? Negative one four. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm going to uh, I'm gonna uh, draw that line real quick. Okay, any ideas how I find the inverse of that line? Wouldn't you just be flipping the coordinates? Yeah, I just flipped the coordinates. So I would flip this one. So I, this would be two and negative three, right? So I go 1, 2, and negative 3, which would be down here, right? So it would be 2 and negative 3. And, and then I'd flip this one, which would be what? 4, 4, four and negative 1. Okay? That's all I would do. So I, all you have to do is find two points on the line, right? And then just flip them, right? But what I want to point out to you is that these two lines... Yes? Parallel? No, they will not be parallel. No, this is a this is a uh, um, uh, coincidence that these are parallel. I'll show you another one here in a minute. But what I want to sh what I want to show you is these two lines and every two lines that that uh, everything that in uh, that uh, has an inverse reflects over this line. See that? Everything that has an inverse reflects over that line, whether it's a parabola line, <coughs> whatever, it reflects over that line. And that line is y equals x. This line is y equals x. Everything reflects over. Now, what Jackson said is true. I'm going to show you this. Jackson, I'm going to create another line, okay? I'm going to create another line, and uh, I'll do it in red. But let's uh, let's go ahead and um, do this line right here, so it intersects here. We'll do um, that is um, a negative three zero, correct? Mm -hmm. And then we'll do um, what? This will be this will be three two. Okay. See that line? Okay. And I'm going to connect that line. And you'll see that it crosses the line of reflection, correct? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to do that line. Okay. So let's do, now let's flip the points, all right? So this is, this would be 0 and negative 3, correct? So it would be down here. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. And this would be 2, 3, right? So 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. Okay? And look what happens. Here's a case, uh, Jackson, where the lines are not parallel, are they? But they still are reflected over this blue line. Okay? That's kind of interesting, isn't it? All right. Sometimes they're parallel, sometimes they're not. Okay? Questions? Comments? All right. So let's go back to our notes then on regular paper. And we have... I've already started the function thing. Uh, we have an inverse function. But what, ha what happens if I don't give you an ordered pair and I say, okay, find the inverse of each? So basically, it's the same directions as before, only I'm going to give you something like this. f of x equals 4x minus 8. All right? So it's a function written in equation form. Okay, now we have a process to do this. And I'm going to show you that process. The first thing is we're going to replace f of x with y. How can we do that? All right, that's right. And y is, or f of x is just an answer. This is just a fancy way of writing y, right? So we're going to replace f of x with y. You got it? Now we're going to exchange x and y. Do you know what the word exchange means? It means they swap it. So we're going to go x equals 
4y minus 8. You see how I switched that? Jackson, you good? Okay. All right, now we're going to solve for y. We always solve for y, don't we? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to move the 8 over. What happens when I move the 8 over? It's well, it's negative now, right? It becomes oh, yeah. positive. So it's x plus 8 equals, I'm trying to get you to do that, but what, what, what do we need to do now? You need to divide by what? 4. And you divide everything by 4. Do you understand that? So I get y equals, can I write 1 fourth x plus 2? All right. I don't know what happened there, but it didn't sound good. Okay. So now I replace y with not f of x, but f prime of x. And I'm going to switch it around because I like it on this side. So f prime of x equals 1 fourth x plus 2. Allie, do you understand that x over 4 is 1 fourth x? Okay, Allie, why would we write it and why would we change it to 1 fourth x? Why not just leave it as x over 4? Uh, well, I'm going to ask you a question. Have you seen this form before? Well, I'm sure hoping that you'd say yes. What form is that? That is slope-intercept form. So we could graph it if we needed to. What's the slope in this function? One fourth. What's the y-intercept? There you go. Do you see that? So by putting it back in that form, we stay consistent. Do you have a question, Tyra? Okay. Oh yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Then you should have said that. Yeah. You're right. It should be plus b, right? Okay. So let's look at this one. Uh, this is number three. Move it over here. So I got f of x equals um, negative one half x plus eleven. Okay. And so I'm going to follow the steps. I replace f of x with y. So y equals a negative one half x plus eleven. Is everybody good? Kaden, you good? Okay. Now we're going to exchange x and y. So x is going to come over here. Y is going to be uh, right here, okay? And now I'm going to solve for Y. And solving for Y is going to be a little bit different. Tater, are you okay? Yeah. All right, you, Ashley over there? Yeah. All right, so what do I do first if I solve for Y? Get rid of the 11. So we're going to subtract it from both sides, right? So I'm just going to move it over there. Can, can you do this now, X minus 11? Do we understand that, Kirsa? Okay. And that equals negative one half x, or negative one half y, I'm sorry. But now instead of dividing, we're going to do what? We're going to multiply by the reciprocal. So it's a negative 2. Make sure you multiply by a negative because the one half is negative, right? So I'm going to take um, a negative 2 times x. I'm going to do plus a negative on the 11. So plus, um, and I'm going to take a negative 2 times a negative 11 equals uh, a negative 1 half y times a negative 2. And, and this is over 1, and it cancels. So on this side, I get y, correct? Mm -hmm. On this side, I get a negative 2x plus a positive 22. And now I replace the y with the f inverse symbol. Whoops. Oh, I've been, I've been writing that wrong. It's, it's, oh boy, I have been writing that one wrong. It's, I just, that's funny. We're doing derivatives in calculus. And so I just did the derivative. And you don't know derivatives, but it's f to the minus one power. I'm going to go way back up here. My bad. Would you go back and check your notes? It's f to the minus one power. That means inverse. That is funny that I did that. Well, it's not funny. You don't find it funny at all, I bet. But um, that's just weird. That I, that I made that mistake. All the places where you do an f inverse, it's f to the minus one. It looks like f to the minus one power equals a negative two x plus 22. I, uh, I apologize for that. Um, that. That was a mistake. 
a costly mistake. It's all the way through it. So, weird. I was finding the derivative. Okay, you got that? All right, so let's turn to your assignment. Okay, your assignment, which is on page um, 271. Okay, 271. And we're going to do page 271. And Ashley's going to write this up there in a minute. Well, you can do it now. Um, 8 through 31, but I want to I kind of look at stuff a little bit before we do it. Uh, page 271, 8 through 31, okay? 8 through 31, thank you. Okay, so the first ones, 8, 9, 10, 11, 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, is, is uh, just like this. Like one, you know, flipping, flipping the... Uh, flipping the x and the y's and then if you got a chart you flip the x and y's also that's like eight the 12 and 13 they give you a blue graph okay and so they give you a blue graph uh, they give you one of these graphs mine are red but they give you a blue one and you got to find two points on the blue graph and then switch them around and find the other line okay so you're going to need graph paper for that yes sir uh, no, that you should look at the like on number twelve. Um, it goes one of the points that I see that it goes through is zero and negative one. Is that right? You can pick any two points, but you see it, Jackson, zero and negative yeah. one, and then another one might be one, two, three, zero. So you can use the x and y x uh, x and y intercepts on that one. But go find it where it touches, you know, like it touches a uh, corner, you know. Find it where it touches a corner and then find that point. So Jackson, you can use any point you want, but it has to be a point on the line. Is that what you're asking? Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, then if you turn the page, we're going to go to 31. If you turn the page, um, uh, find the inverse uh, of the next ones is just like these two, 2 and 3. So that would be 14 through 19. It's like 2 and 3. Okay, um, and then we got a couple... Um, Story problems, and I'll, I might have to help you with those, but I, I doubt it. Uh, 22 through 27 is the same. The 22 through 27, the only difference is, is you have to solve for it. Do you want to see one of those done? Okay. All right, let's do 22. Okay. It says find the inverse of each equation in F function form. It says 3y minus 12x equals a negative 72. The other ones, you already had y solved for, didn't you? Okay, this you do not have y solved for. So, we got to solve for y. So, we're going to move the 12x over, making it positive. Notice I put it in front of the 72 because it's, we want it in that form, correct? Now, we divide everything by 3. Are we good? Uh, 3 goes into there, what, 26 times? Is that right? Okay. Is that true? No. It's not true, is it? 24 times. There we go. All right. We good? Now, here's where you were right here. You know, back here, you were, you were right here. Only we have a y instead of an f of x. Is it good that we have a y? Yeah, yeah because the first step we did was, change yeah, we changed f of x to a y. So we're good. All we got to do is exchange x and y now. And solve for y. So I move the 24 over. Becomes positive. And I divide by 4. And I get, I'm going to write it as 1 fourth x plus 6 equals y. And then I'm going to write it like this. The inverse equals 1 fourth x plus 6. I like the inverse on the left side. I like the inverse on the left side. Okay, you see how to do that.
questions? And then um, 28 through 31, we just matched the graph with the graph of its inverse. Okay, so if they have an equation, you give the letter of the graph, all right? This is not due tomorrow. You have tomorrow to work on it, but some of you will be gone. So you might want to get started and try to get as much done today as you can. Okay, good luck.